Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Brittany Healy and thank you for clicking on my video. So today I'm filming the Valentine's makeup look that I'm gonna do. So I am going out after this, so I hope it goes right. <laughs> if it doesn't, then this video will not be posted. But um, yeah, so I'm basically gonna go for like a red-ish look. I want red lips and red eyes, kind of. I'm just winging it at the moment, so we'll see how it goes with the powders. As you can see, I quickly did my eyebrows off camera because I didn't want it to go wrong while doing it because I'd have to take them off, refilm it, redo it, and I think it would just be a disaster and it sets a bad tone for the night. So I thought for the first attempt at making a makeup video, then I would just do my eyebrows off camera. If anyone does want to see how I do my eyebrows, <laughs> send me a message, leave me a comment, and I will get that video uploaded for you. So other than that, let's get into the video. So I started off with my collection Last Imperfection Concealer. I just put this under my eyebrows and then the remainder that was on the brush along the rest of my eye in order to give it a sharper eyebrow effect and then I went in with the Too Faced Eyeshadow Primer and put that over the top of this on my eyes just to prep ready for my eyeshadow. For my eye look today I used my Morphe Hit The Lights palette. I adore this palette, it's just so versatile and I can do so many different looks with it with so many different colours but I will tell you that it is a very expensive palette, it was like £42 I think I got it for Christmas, so it was gifted so I'm not 100% sure but I've got a feeling it's 42 it's definitely on the higher bracket but i definitely say it's well worth the price, it's gorgeous as you can see, I just started off with a bit of a bronze colour to do my inner, my inner corners and underneath my eyebrows. This is just like the highlight effect, just to start off the look. And then I moved on to the red, and that will just be the base colour ready for my red like pop of an eye look. Next I started off with a slightly darker red tone and I brought this just below the big shadow at the top just on the outer corner of my eye and started to bring that in slightly ready to prep for my cut crease. Next I wanted to create a cut crease look today so I used the same concealer I used before, the collection one, just to start off with doing a half cut crease and I used a flat brush just to get this effect. I find it the easiest to do because it kind of shapes my eye quite nicely. And then I just went over it with my Rimmel powder, my Rimmel translucent powder, and that will just set it before it starts to crease. Following on from my cut crease, I am now using the same flat style brush and using a silver shade just to go through the crease of my eye. I've loved doing this look recently because it just adds a little bit of sparkle but not kind of overpowering on the eye so it's just a bit more subtle and adds a bit more dimension. So I'm just taking that through the crease of my eye and I'm going to then do this with another shade later on. Finally, moving away from my eye makeup, I am starting off with my Laura Mercier primer, ready to start my foundation, my concealer and my actual face makeup. This Estee Lauder Dove Wear Foundation is a godsend. I have been using this foundation for years and I've not found another one that is remotely like it or gives me the same finish. It works really well with my skin because it's kind of combination and it gives me such a smooth finish and doesn't turn really oily. 
within a couple of hours of wearing it so I love this foundation I'll probably be using it for the rest of time unless I find something that's even better which is going to be very difficult quickly start the video while my concealer is setting and show these brushes like they are juicy couture and I am honestly obsessed with these brushes I can't do my makeup without them I think if I tried to do anything else like with my foundation or use any other brush trying to apply it then it just would not give me the finish it gives because it honestly it applies the product so well like I get a smooth finish every single time and I adore them like I would definitely recommend get yourself a brush like this because they're just unreal, I would not use anything else. Now moving on to the contour, this is my favourite bit of makeup just because it adds some nice dimension to your face and it, I feel like it really finishes it off and I'm using a nice angled brush because I think this just gives you the perfect shape like when you're doing your cheekbones and my Bobbi Brown powder which has been a great colour, like this is my more going out dressy like powder to use because it gives such a tan colour. So it's really really pigmented and it just gives such a smooth finish. I'm very impressed with it. Now I'm just adding a bit of silver glitter under my eyes just to add a bit more colour and make it look less kind of uneven. I don't normally add a lot of powder underneath my eyes because I quite like the look of just bare. I feel like too much colour under your eye can look a bit costumey so I just wanted it to be subtle. I end up smoothing it out later on just to make sure that the glitter wasn't so bright because I did not want that costumey effect. And then I went in with my mascara for, for prep for my false lashes. Last but not least, I use my Fenty Beauty Holo At Me highlighter and if anyone has got this highlighter already, they know it's quite a creamy texture, like it's not as powdery as the original Fenty highlighters, but it still applies very nicely, it's really good. I have to layer it quite a few more times than the other one, but it still gives off a beautiful pinky gold highlight, which I love.
brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. I always love to hear from anyone who watches. And I'll probably mess around with this look a little bit more because I want the lips to be a bit brighter. But I mean, it still works, but I still want a brighter red. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is my first attempt at a makeup video, so any feedback is great. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.